Hey everyone, it's me, R.B. Kelly, Body Language Boss. For those of you who don't know me, please just call me R.B. R and a B, R.B. Easy to remember, simple, should be fine. Now today, I'm really excited because I want to talk to you about sales. Now you're here because you took the quiz and you got your results and you figured out what you're great at and you figured out what there's one little tiny area where you can improve just a little bit. And that's what this email course is all about to give you the tools you need to improve just in that tiny area. But by making these tiny changes, you will see huge results. And that's what we're after, how to get you some huge results. Now today, I'm not gonna give you a certain skill. I'm gonna explain a different way of looking at sales that will hopefully make you think and give you a lot of insight into how you're doing sales. And I think you'll like what we're about to talk about. So, most people, especially if you're right in the thick of things, trying to make more sales. When we think about sales, we think about either we're making them or we're not. And we, when we get the dollar amount and we get the check, we're like, yes, I've made a sale. This is so great. But if we're not getting that check, we're all like, oh, I don't like this. This is painful, ugh. And we wonder what we're doing wrong. Now, the thing is, it's not just either sold or not sold. There's a process people go through. There's a path that your customers walk that takes them from being a stranger to being one of your customers. And just once people become a customer, the journey isn't over. There's actually more. Because there's something even better than people choosing to buy from you, and, and we'll get to that in a second. But first, let's talk about the beginning of the, of the journey that your customer goes on. So when they first encounter you, they're a cold lead. They've never heard of you, they don't know you're in business, they don't care, they don't know anything about you. And so in order to turn them from a cold lead into a customer, there are certain things you need to provide to them. And we'll be talking about that tomorrow. But first, they have to actually choose. If you do, it, if you do your job right, they will go from a cold lead, and they'll take a step closer into what's called a warm lead. Now a warm lead is someone who is interested in your business, is interested, you've talked to them, you've had a couple conversations, they're, they're interested in you, you're interested in them, but you haven't quite closed the deal yet. But there are certain things that this warm lead is looking for from you, and we'll talk about that tomorrow also. But if you provide what they need, you'll be able to take them from the warm lead to the hot lead. And so if you take this from, for your customer, it's a journey, all right? They are walking down this path from cold to warm to hot and beyond. But for you, if you look at it from a bird's eye view, you'll see they're actually walking into a giant circle. All right, a giant circle. So the outermost edge of the circle, this is where your cold leads are. They're just barely entering your sphere of influence. They don't know you. They're not steeped in your culture yet. They're just brand new to you and what you offer. But if they like what they see, they'll come in a little bit closer and then they become a warm lead. And so warm lead, they know you a little bit better. They've seen you a little bit more. They know just a little bit more about you. And if they like what they see and what they hear, they move in, come just a little bit closer into becoming a hot lead. Now a hot lead is when people actually buy. So if someone says, I like what you do, here's some money, go do what you do some more for me, then voila, you've made a sale, you've got a hot lead. But the hot lead while it's awesome, and we all love hot leads, there's something even better than a hot lead. And that is found right at the core of your client circle. The very heart of everything you do and everyone who buys from you. This core is where you keep your fans, your cheerleaders. Someone who doesn't just buy from you once, they love what you offer so much they buy from you over and over and over again. And not only that, they bring their friends. They bring their family. They shout about you to their boss, to their subordinates, to the person who walks their dog. They share what you do with everyone because by this point, they have experienced what you offer so much and they know it so well that they love it. And they love you and what you offer. And so because you did such a wonderful job for them, they want to share you with as many people as possible. This is called the raving fan customer. And most of you don't have any raving fan customers. But if you look at the biggest brands, at the biggest businesses, 
there are always they are always looking for ways to cultivate and support these raving fan customers. If you have a friend who won't buy any phone other than an Apple, or if you have a friend who won't get their coffee anywhere but from Starbucks, you have raving fan customer friends, and they are raving fan customers for these businesses, these brands that have earned their undying devotion. That's what we want for your business. So as you're going about your business, I want you to, whoever you're talking to, whether it's via email, over the phone, face to face, if you're out knocking on doors, or if you're networking to a whole room of people, whoever you're talking to, imagine them on this journey, this journey with you, of cold leads at the end and your raving fan customers in the middle. Where are they? And look at this person, think about what you know about them. Have you just met them? Have they heard of you before? Have they mentioned you before? What are they thinking of you? Where are they in this process? And if you visualize this journey for them, you know, all right, for every step, they have an option. If they're on a journey, if they're, you see it from the bird's eye view of the circles, but they're down on the ground walking through your experience and they are at a crossroads. They have a chance to walk forwards and get closer, closer to becoming a raving fan customer, or they have a chance to turn around and walk the other way. Now tomorrow, we're gonna to be talking about what you can do in order to keep them coming closer, keep them coming closer to you, what they need to advance to the next level and the next and the next. But for today, all I want you to do is look at everyone you meet and ask yourself, where in the circle of leads does this person fall? And then I want you to wonder, what do they need from me in order to move to the next level. Guess, and go ahead and try it out, see if it works. But anyway, you'll be hearing from me tomorrow. You'll be getting an email. It will be coming from rb at bodylanguageboss.com. If you have any questions, please feel free to reply to that email. I'm happy to help, I'm here anytime. All right, that's it for now. I'll see you tomorrow, but have a wonderful day.